$30.99. See, that's the questionable part about it all. It costs a pretty penny. Is it really worth the price tag? Because you can get a doormat in IKEA for way less than that. So, I don't know. Very expensive for a definitely washable doormat. <laughs> right, right. The price is suspicious. But maybe, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Just buy the freaking mat. It cleans your shoes. It cleans your shoes, ex it, it exfoliates your feet, it brings your marriage back together, it raises your children and takes care of your grandparents. It does it all. <laughs> it's zen. <laughs> Under of the mat looks like a large computer mouse pad. Mm, that's the heating technology. <laughs> it washes your clothes, it does your laundry, it cooks you dinner. And it tucks you in your bed before you sleep. <laughs> Kisses you a good night kiss. Where can you get one? Amazon. <laughs> Where you can get everything on Amazon. Perfect for bedroom, guest room, kids room, VR, vacation, home and dorm. It's perfect gift for someone you love. What about for someone you hate? <laughs> whole other bunch. The Smith family? How come the fucking Smith family has gotten an entire doormat thing for, for them? What about all the other families? The Smith family? Get the fuck out of here, the Smith fam. You better have donuts. Why is that a doormat? You better have donuts? Welcome to our neck of the woods. America. There is a fucking doormat ju that just says America. Beware of the wiggle butts. Okay, you know, that's a rabbit hole. I don't want to go down. Absolutely not. Get your Zen technology out of here and your wiggle, <laughs> wiggle butts. Mmm. <laughs> You like the F, F off doormat. Get the fuck out of here. Whoever you are, for whatever reason you came here, get out. <laughs> 150 pages is a bit much, you think so? I think they should have stopped at 137, right? 150, that's a bit pushing it. Quit your bitching. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what kind of hellscape? Also, why? Why that font? What is up with that font? What is that font? I mean, that font is just a disgrace to the humankind, and why is it used on the doormat, and why is the text like that? What is that? To whom does that apply? Who is quit your bitchin', and what does that even mean? A certified happy camper area? Is that some sort of, like, what is that? Or, like... Um, oh, what are they called? The children that go outdoors and make fire and stuff. 
Um, oh my goodness, scouts. Is this like some sort of scout thing or what? <laughs> I mean, yes, all of the pictures are bad Photoshop. They're, they have basically taken an Ikea doormat and photoshopped some nonsense on top of it and slapped a massive ass price tag of $26.99 plus $10.99 for shipping. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> use it in front of your bloody tent. All of that is just not right. Are there any reviews? Let's see. There are literally no reviews, no stars given. No one has ever bought this hellscape of a thing. It's just not right. That is Xen technology. My goodness. It has a good water absorption, regardless of the use of anywhere, it can be effective to avoid slipping anywhere, so I could be in the middle of the fucking ocean. I am glad that's the case. Made of heat-resistant non-woven fabric and backed with neo neoprene rubber backing. Machine washable and its exquisite design makes your home warm and comfortable. Which part of quit your bitching thing is exquisite? Where is the exquisite part? I fail to see it. I fail to see the exquisite nature of it. Ooh. <laughs> what is delivered? A PDF of, of the doormat. Yes, you print it out and you glue it to the front door <laughs> with super glue. This has been a roller coaster, a deep dive, a tragedy. You found a review saying one out of five stars ordered a doormat with the name The Smiths. They made it saying The Smith. They won't accept it, the misspelling as their error, and won't refund it because, because of reasons. Also, better item than expected. I mean, how low are your expectations at that point? It's like, I mean, I am expecting to receive just a blank piece of paper that has the, the, the Smith printed on it. But no, actually, it looked like a doormat. <laughs> a four size doormat. <laughs> perfect. Just perfect. What a jolly time. What a truly jolly time. A bit small, but I still loved it. It was for the outside front door, so it did the job. Right. Anyhow, you know what? We're gonna be ending on this jolly note of doormats. Um, I'm gonna go have some food, <laughs> restore my mental sanity. Um, <laughs> let's leave at, at this conversation. It's been great. I will be back tomorrow. We will continue working on Barbara and Dingus. Um, so stay tuned for that. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a good one. Thank you for joining the jolly conversations about doormats. Thoroughly enjoyed them. 10 out of 10. And have a delightful rest of your day. Alrighty. Thank you and 